Hey Northridge Kids Volunteers, this is Mike. I just wanted to let you know that this Sunday, when you show up for High Point, you'll notice some construction going on. Uh, right now we got some drywall behind me, but uh, Sunday it won't be entirely painted, but it should be mostly out of the way. So what's going on? Uh, we want you to know that this room that we're putting up is going to be a new room for four-year-olds who are going to be moving up to High Point the first week of February. That's February 7th. Uh, the four-year-olds are moving up because we are out of space and in order to continue to provide a safe environment uh, for our kids, uh, we need to have not only uh, a two-year-old class, we'll now have a three-year-old class, that's what Hotspot will become, and the four-year-olds will move up to High Point. You're probably thinking, hey, four-year-olds in fifth grades in one environment, that's too big of a gap, and you're absolutely right. Uh, and in order to get around that, we're going to have our large group time is now going to be split into two different age groups. We're going to have four-year-olds through second graders in uh, one large group time, and then the second large group time will most likely be third graders through fifth graders. Uh, Melissa will send you more information on that uh, in the coming days. So this Sunday, uh, the, the four-year-olds will still be downstairs, but again, the kindergartners will be on uh, one of the halves of the room, and the new room will be constructed. So just be aware of that as you're coming up. And if parents ask uh, when anything will happen, the first week of February, four-year-olds will move up. And they will be notified by letter this next week that that's going to take place. So um, any questions that they have, feel free to, to answer them with that information. Small group leaders, if you have any questions, feel free to email uh, me or Melissa. Uh, and if you're on check-in or virtues, you can email me uh, or Beth and hosts and storytellers or tech, you guys can feel free to email your questions to Gary or myself. So thank you, all of you volunteers, for creating such a fun and engaging environment that our ministries are growing by leaps and bounds. We couldn't do what we do at Northridge without your volunteering. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys later.